na rafiki yangu Goyoyo pale anajua amekuja mbunge tu anja malisa mwaka mmoja sisi tumekaa huko kulikuwa na maandamano 2013 kukawa na maandamano 2017 na inaendelea kwa hivyo tusilalamike by the way maandamano iko kwa katiba yetu si mnajua hivyo wa Kenya maandamano iko ndani ya katiba inasema wewe kama mkenya una uhuru wa kuandamana uambie serikali nataka nini ila ambaye atakikani ukiandamana ufunje mali ya mwenzako. Kwa hivyo tusisije tuka, tukafanya maandamano yaonekana kama ni shetani mkubwa. Hapana. Si shetani mkubwa, maandamano sisi wa Kenya tulipigia kura tukasema iwekwe kwa katiba. Eh? Kwa sababu hiyo, mnasikia? Sababu hiyo watu wa waandamana ile tukafanya kama wa Kenya I must say hii jobo tumetengeneza the task force ile 77 please kama nataka kusaidia inji hao watu tuwapatie nafasi wafanye kazi yao wakiongea bila kupishana na watengeneze kitu mzuri ya inji utaona mtu amekanyaga kwa barabara lakini kama wataenda mchezo cheso basi ni lazima tukubaliane watu waendelea kuandamana na hiyo ni right yetu hata kwa tunafanya makosa ni lazima tuongee ukweli. Ile ingine your excellence because you are here and I'm sure you are MPs might not be able to tell you the truth. Mimi nina PhD in economics. My PhD is in economics. Ukiuliza waziri amesema mimi ni mtu wa mahesabu na ukweli mahesabu na, na, na mimi na mathematics one thing. Ameniambia ile hesabu niweza kupata kukosa kidogo ni hesabu ya kutoingia kwa Kenya kwanza. Na hiyo nakubali. Hiyo hesabu hiyo hiyo si kupata. Lakini ukweli wa excellence. Na ni vizuri tuambie wakubwa ukweli. Ndio tusaidie inchi. Your excellence ukiangalia finance bill. Mimi nimekaa mbunge miaka kumi na moja. Sijai kuona finance bill ingine yenye na upishi kama hii ya mwaka huu wa 2030, 2023. For the last 11 years I've been in parliament. I've never seen it. And the question I ask myself is why this resistance? Why? Unajua sisi wa kamba tukiresist huku is expected as I said earlier sana sana tuna a lot of shares kwa upande wa siasa lakini ukiangalia register ya taxpayers your excellency wakamba tumejaa huko ama namna gani wakamba tuye bakoti alama kwa tuye bakoti kwa kwa na mwambozu we pay you tax Only two. Only two. Na kama hiyo mgaweza finance. the day ni pesa kwa mesa ile watafanya kazi nayo at the same time hakuna pesa ya serikali pesa ni ya taxpayer sisi tunalipa tunapea rigiji na boss wanatumia kulingana na manifesto ya Kenya kwanza so the money belongs to the taxpayer and because that is the case i want to appeal to you pana deputy president ukikutana na rais jioni muangalie two things mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16%. I'm now talking as an economist. Sawa hii mambo ya siasa hii ni kitu nilianza juzi juzi. Sasa hiyo hii ndio ninakula anga hii hii naongea juu yake. Mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16. Please let's sorbara as Kenyans and look at that proposal. 
tuulizane hii ilikuwa natupea pesa ngapi kwa mfuko wa serikali is there alternative way of raising the same amount and if you need that alternative way i'll be there for consultation for the sake of my country the other thing i need us to talk about your excellency hii mambo ya nyumba hii mambo ya nyumba unasikia mbaya akisema huyu huyu akipigia hiyo kitu next week atafutwa na watu wa kitu huyu utamuona tena atafutwa acha nikwambie kweli atafutwa kwa hivyo ili ili tuweze tu, 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 ku take care of our leaders wasiwe na shida can we get to a round table your excellency tuangalie hii 3% housing levy kila mkenya anataka house and i, I don't know, even mean nataka nyumba additional i have one i don't mind an additional one but can we make sure that we get this house in a way that we don't really arm our people and i want to tell you your excellency once you get those two right utasikia hata mbunge utakisikia maneno lakini kama itakaa vile mekaa saa hii your excellency wengine lazima tutatoa suwari kwa mbunge tukisema no si lazima tusema kweli eh kama itakaa vile mekaa mimi i don't pretend myself if it will be like it is kura ya makali wa amulu itakuwa big no that can be reported in kenya for those two lakini like, sikitengenezwa i will be lying i have no problem naona ninjua mimi na kujua tumefanya mengi na wewe na court tutaendelea kulipa unasikia tuliongea mambo ya cessation ulisikia last weekend it's not a secret tukao kule kwa mheshimiwa kalonzo tukasema imefika mahali kama sisi kama wa Kenya tutajisikia ni wa Kenya tutakata hii inji mara mbili tulisema namna hiyo ni lazima tuongee kweli na kwa sababu watu wanaongea hivyo ni kwa sababu ya kwamba wanaona kama wataanza kuwa wanatengwa sio sio because we want it we gave reasons we must look at the context so we want a united country where when we pay our taxes we get value for taxes and on that note your excellency sisi watu wa kitui nimeshukuru wewe na nikashukuru mheshimiwa kwa ile barabara nataka kibwesi kwenda mwingi ya alami na tukasema ni asante tuwapigie makofi kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tumepata hiyo barabara na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu sasa hivi your excellency kwenda Mombasa yule need 4 hours nimeland kwa kwa Mombasa na nimeanza kuswim 4 hours but your excellency there are two things are singers in that road na sisi kama viongozi wa sehemu hii pamoja na mheshimiwa ambaye because wa sehemu hii watu wetu wali walitoa mashamba yao your excellency hawanjai kuwa compensated at all at all nataka ukianza kurudi nyumbani your excellency kwa ndege utupe macho kuna kijiji naitwa majengo hapa utaona vile watu wamekaa tulitoa hao maskini wote kwa mashamba yao barabara ipite barabara ikapita mpaka wa sasa wanaishi kwa rendo houses na mtu ni maskini shida kubwa kwa hivyo kama itawezekana please note that utuangalilie hiyo ni jambo moja jambo la pili barabara imekuwa mahali kuna jua tuliwaambia siku ile nyingine kama ingeweza ifike mbondoni jeshikanishe hiyo ya mwingi na kitui iwe tukienda kitui hakuna haja kwenda kanyonyo tunakata hapa it will improve eh, it will improve eh, mambo ya mambo ya, 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 ya kupeleka vitu mwingi na watu kusafiri la mwisho your excellency umanda my constituency jana tumemaliza kufanya budget ya inji i sit in that committee na ukweli ni kwamba tunge pe, kama itawezekana your excellency tungependa kuona hiyo badam it is one of the 2030 flagship projects umanda which was done that uh, you remember the fusion 2030 by by mheshimiwa kibaki that program is still hanging tunaomba kama itawezekana tuweze kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo project imepewa era pia ndio iweze kumaliziwa but kwa ujumla your excellency want to say is people from this region as we are in the opposition it's not a secret but doing the opposition does it mean you oppose blindly that's why we have gone to school that's why we have, we have, we have it takes to analyze issues and where they are good we tell they are good hii kuondoa gas kutoka your excellency from gas ile gas vat and gas mumeteremsha hii ni mzuri sana kwa wakenya na tunafurahia hata sisi wa wanyitu kwa opposition so it's not that the bill does it have good things it has but those two controversial ones can we look at them so that we hope the country grow and we remain united so with those many remarks and my to twende na kukwata na tisa sawa na tuyahakikisha leo ndio yako ya tree 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 kindu kimwe tunene na wasia umwe siasa hii tunene na sioni siasa siya kusobia ndiri siya kwananga na tukaendea na usobia ndi ngai ni utwadhimie na mbua ni mko nondo matume kali le twende na kumtunge amobea na liwa watu kukwata tafadhali tusubie tuweke miundani with the mbua ya idhila 
tuna kitu tuna kwa ya elo kwa na tuwa abona kuli tuwa kodo kuli tuwa kwa ndo kwa kwa na inge mwondo bo ni ndo lita lita kwa nata kodo kwa na biti kwa tuna kata tuna litwa kwa hini ndo kwa senu usewa alamu ukie let's be together for the sake of this school you have to say that I will say that when I'm contributing. Like in Shule Kama I Alwanga, Shule Kama Getu High School, Your Excellency, Shule Kama Mulango Girls, Shule Kama Mutun Sendajilas. Those are the old big schools in this constituency. Now, Nipende Nispende, CDF Yangu, I hear it. It can be about those four and the babies in Guinea. We're going to have 57 schools, secondary schools. The others have, done, have managed to do science lab for all of them. Why is Kidoko to be a CDF? So, because I know my children.